Social media has given us a way to connect with our friends, coworkers, and family, but it has also become a catalyst for some of the craziest deaths that we have seen in this millennium. Here are 10 crazy deaths caused by social media. Houston Schlicker. It's common that when parents punish a preteen or teen, they will take away access to social media. Most bearers of the punishment will sulk and maybe throw a tantrum, but Houston Schlicker took things to a completely different level when he shot his dad in response to losing his MySpace privileges. He's now doing 20 years in prison, or in other words, 20 years without that precious social media. Tori Lynn Emery. Tori Lynn Emery had been fighting with Danielle Booth on Facebook over a guy. Most of us will keep our conflicts on Facebook and not let it bleed into our real life. But when Tori saw Danielle in the passenger seat of a car driven by Alicia Abernathy, Tori rammed the car several times, causing Alicia to run a red light and get struck by another car, thus killing her. Richard Rovetto. Facebook pokes were somehow once the most popular feature on the social media site. Richard Rivetto learned the hard way that you just can't poke certain people. He started poking Scott Humphrey's girlfriend when he didn't realize she was taken. So when Rivetto was confronted by Humphrey, he was punched repeatedly until he fell, hitting his head on the pavement and dying. Humphrey ended up in prison for four years on the charge of manslaughter. Shemeg Blake. Shemeg Blake was fighting on Twitter with his friend Kwame Dancy because they were both interested in the same girl. The two men decided they would settle their differences over Twitter and it would be assumed they would keep it on social media. That wasn't quite the case. When Shemeg met with Kwame in person, he decided to shoot him and then tweeted RIP Kwame immediately after. What a smart tweeter. Adam Mann. After Adam Mann's ex-wife Lisa Beverly called him out on Facebook in 2009 several times for not paying child support, he had had enough and he went to her residence and beat her to death with a hammer. If that isn't bad enough, he left her body there for their five-year-old son to find. The boy called his grandparents who then alerted authorities. Mann is currently in prison and thankfully not getting out anytime soon. Rachel Wade. After Rachel Wade and her boyfriend broke up, she didn't expect him to move on with Sarah Ludman so quickly. Seeing the constant photos Sarah went posting with her ex drove Rachel crazy to the point where she left a threatening voicemail warning her to stop. Well, Sarah didn't stop, and Rachel went over the edge and stabbed her to death. Rachel is now serving 27 years in prison. Richard McCroskey. Richard McCroskey isn't the smartest murderer around. From Farmville, Virginia, Richard was also an aspiring rapper and would often rap about the people he killed and then post the songs on MySpace. So when people in Richard's life ended up disappearing and then turning up dead, he ended up being the prime suspect. Police found a gold mine of evidence to convict him of murder thanks to his songs. Edward Richardson. Edward Richardson and his ex-wife Sarah were already separated for quite some time when she decided to change her relationship status on Facebook to single. Edward saw the relationship change and became enraged to the point that he went to Sarah's apartment and brutally killed her. He was already angry because she stopped replying to his text messages and the social media status sent him over the edge. Matthew Du Bois. In Burien, Washington, 16-year-old Matthew Du Bois was arguing with his 15-year-old girlfriend, Mikara Tinky Sanders, over a comment that some guy online left on her MySpace page. Instead of enjoying New Year's Eve festivities, Du Bois got a handgun and shot Tinky in the face because that's how he was going to deal with random internet guys hitting on his girlfriend. At first, he blamed Tinky's murder on an imaginary gang member who didn't exist, but the jury didn't buy it, and he was sentenced to 14 years in prison. Daniel Garcia. Sarah Elston was missing her ex-boyfriend, Daniel Garcia, so she was thrilled when he contacted her over Facebook Messenger. It was the first time in months since they had talked and Sarah was hoping to maybe get back together, or at the very least a hookup. Daniel had darker plans, as Sarah's body was found dead and mutilated after their meeting. There was a lot of noise coming from Sarah's apartment, but neighbors said the noises were normal, unaware that Daniel was taking her life. Well, that's our video, folks. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep yourself safe out there. While you're here, check out these other videos. And please, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thanks.